Hello Pixies! Really quick checking in, uh, starting this vlog off in a rush. Uh, we are just about to head into town because it is Mudkip Community Day in Pokemon Go. I don't know how long we're actually going to be out. It lasts for three hours. I don't know that we'll be out the full time. Uh, so I'm just going to finish getting ready and we're going to head off.
struggling. <laughs> Not that I'm struggling to like, I'm, I'm struggling to know what to say about the book and like all I can think about, I've, I've started the second book and I want to read the second book, but oftentimes <laughs> that distracts from the review and I, I can get confused sometimes. I don't think I would get confused, but I'm not letting myself because I, I missed... Last week I did the TBR, but like I missed before that and um, I missed a Sunday post. So I really want to get back into being consistent. Not that I think I've been consistent yet this year, but I would like to be. So I'm making myself finish this post before I go back to the other book. <laughs> uh, and my alarm went off a little bit ago that it's time for me to get ready for work tomorrow and like pack my lunch and stuff. Because I've been doing really good at getting there at 7. It's kind of funny. I keep progressively getting there earlier and earlier. Um, when I started the department that I was in, I couldn't start before 8.30. So I would, like, my dad would drive me to work. Um, and we would get there, like, 8.15, whatever. And I would, like, read for whatever. Um, later and later, we, we'd get there at 8.30. But, um... And then I moved to compliance, and then we started kind of getting there around 8 o'clock. He had gotten used to getting up later. Um, and then he retired, and I got to, like, where I would get there, like, at 8. And then I got to where I would get there at, like, 7.50, 7.45, 7.30. And then COVID hit. And now suddenly... I'm very motivated to get there by like 7 or as close as I possibly can get to 7 because we have to have our temperature taken and the stupid freaking thing that reads my temperature keeps saying your temperature is too low please warm up please, you know please step aside and wait until you're actually a normal temperature it's like Obviously, I don't have a fever. Can I just go in? So, I also worry about uh, the number of people that would, you know, kind of like get there at about the same time and have to have their temperature taken. And so, I've been liking getting there around seven. And so, I'm trying to keep that up as well. I have also put in a grocery order at my grocery store. We're coming up to Easter. I really should have gone. I wasn't thinking about it at the, at all. I really should have gone over the weekend. But so at this point, everyone's going to be doing their Easter dinner, meal, whatever shopping. And so I really don't want to go in the store. <laughs> so I've put in an order for me to pick up tomorrow after work. Apologies. Uh, I had an error on the camera, so I have now emptied the SD card. Hopefully that'll fix it. It was, it said it was writing slow. Horrible light in here, but it's late and uh, it is what it is. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying, but I did now finish writing the blog post, so yay. And uh, it's now after nine o'clock and I should pretty much be set for tomorrow, but I'm just getting started. I also have dinner to put away. We had a nice um, pasta something dish. I don't have the package out still. I probably dust it because it wasn't cardboard, so it's not recyclable. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to... Get ready for the day tomorrow. And you know what? Because I finished the post. Oh, I left my phone in the other... I'm going to listen <laughs> to... 
Okay, now I've got a blade so black in my head, but that's not the next book I'm going to listen to. Which I've already started listening to the second book, and yes, it did kind of screw me up a little bit trying to remember some of the stuff that went on with the characters. Why am I? No. A Dream So Dark. That, that's what I'm going back to. I have I have nine hours and forty seven minutes. I'm nineteen percent complete. I might have to find another audiobook before Tom Doppel starts. That's not cool. Cause I think I can listen to this while I work tomorrow. Things things have gotten I don't want to say calmer, because they haven't gotten calmer. I'm far from calm. Um, anyways, I'm going to stop rambling, and I'm going to get to reading and getting ready for tomorrow. So I just finished a, a uh, curse so dark. A dream so dark. I keep wanting to make it a curse so dark. I'm beginning to wonder if this was meant as a duology or something, but I know we get a third book next year. Oh, now this reset. Where did it go? Oh, Elm Guinea. We get a crown so cursed next year and but there's there's no like okay there's no real cliffhanger like I could be happy at this ending but I have a hypothesis about Alice and I really want to know if it's right <laughs> And, and some things happened at the end where I'm like, oh, it could be. I just want to know if she is who I think she is. A descendant of who I think she's a descendant of. Perhaps. Possibly. Um... Ella McKinney is definitely going on my favorite author's list. Dante. <laughs> Apparently there's people outside. It's all kind of blurry, but. Um, yeah, so. Now there's a growly puppy. But hey, there's there's another book. To, did I ever finish my thought? L. L. McKinney is definitely a a new favorite author. Like I I will be watching to the best of my abilities because I still miss my favorite author's releases. And then I find out about the late, and I go, oh, I am such a failure of a fan. So, um. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, I would definitely recommend the Nightmare Verse, um, starting with a blade so black and then a curse so dark. I did it again. It's not curse. A dream. A dream so dark. Um, definitely, definitely recommend. I did the audiobook for the second one. Glorious. Loved it. Yep. Recommend. Definitely. I really want the next one now. <laughs> yeah, it's not out yet. I have at least another year. Uh, we just know it's coming in 2023. We don't know when in 2023. 
So I don't think a whole lot of reading has happened since I last updated you and it's now Friday, April 15th, and Tom Topple, day one. So I think I'm just gonna close this one out and I am going to do a dedicated Tom Topple vlog so you won't see any vlog content from me for two weeks. May or may not find something else for me though. Still in the works, so not making any promises. Uh, and so let's see what what did I read? I finished a dream so dark. And if you haven't, please go check out L. L. McKinley. Uh, a Blade So Black. That's book one, and and then you will probably want book two very shortly after because chef's kiss. <laughs> uh, still, still thinking about those books. Still like, yeah, really enjoyed those. And okay, we're having camera issues again. I don't know what the issue is this time because the card is practically empty. Anyways, uh, yeah, so after that I was just kind of reading whatever, watching a lot of other YouTube book videos, uh, booktube videos. So I haven't really done a whole lot of reading, um, outside of this morning for a Tome Topple, but you'll see that in the Tome Topple vlog, so... I will see you next time with the new video. TTFN!